We don't pay a lot of attention to the fans from Ohio State, as far as I remember. University of Michigan always has been a hell of a school. It's a first-rate academic school. Face it, Michigan was superior to Ohio State and remains superior. We had a Michigan guy flunk out of Michigan and then he enrolled at Ohio State and he raised a class standing at both universities when he did that. I'm a Michigan graduate, you're an Ohio State graduate, you're lucky you're not flipping burgers someplace. We looked down our noses at Ohio State. But weary travelers through these parts take heed, knowing who the locals root for is Rivalry 101. So there was John Kerry in Ohio before the presidential election, and he praises the Ohio State Buckeye football team. There is nothing better than Buckeye football, period. That's the way it works. But then he goes to a suburb of Detroit. Roughly 60, 70 percent Democratic. Our high schools are named after John F. Kennedy and Harry Truman. Um, he could have said anything. The and then he mentioned himself, you know, I just go for Buckeye football. I just go for Buckeye football. That's where I'm coming out. But... <laughs> that was while I was in Ohio. Now I know I'm in the state of Michigan, and you got a great big M and a powerhouse of a team. This guy is a flip-flopper. I stepped back and caught the ball on the seven-yard line. I made the first guy miss. Then I moved to my left, so now I'm running down Ohio State sideline. I'm looking at the punter. I'm like, that's that's just totally unfair. There's no way in hell he's gonna catch me. I'm thinking, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? Should I not? And I'm really wrestling with myself about this. I crossed the goal line. I'm like, hey, fuck it, and I did it. They don't forget those who kick their ass. I just put it to you like that. So when I'm down there, I take it as a compliment. I tell them, thank you very much. Daz, man, you suck. Thank you very much. Daz, man, fuck you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and those 10 years, me on one side and him on the other, I wouldn't change that for anything in the world. <laughs> Bo Schembechler shared his final account of the game just two days prior to the most anticipated meeting in the rivalry's history. He soaked up Michigan Stadium one last time. But the following morning, he was gone. While taping a local television program, Schembechler's heart gave out. He was 77. Memorials spread far and wide in Ann Arbor one who was a great competitor and who loved the game and who will be missed sorely. How do you get an OSU grad off your porch? You pay him for the pizza. A Michigan fan and an OSU fan are in the third grade. Who's bigger? The OSU fan, he's 18. 